On this episode of Hornet, A Swarm of One, we're in Santa Ana, California at Unique Fabrication, where we're gonna reintroduce you to some old friends, introduce you to some new ones, as we take our Dodge Hornet to the next level. With the Hornet now in Southern California, it was time to head over to Unique Fabrications in Santa Ana. You might remember that Unique was the shop that helped us complete our Project Rampart Dodge Durango Hellcat last year for SEMA, and this year would be no different. We'd also be meeting up with our old pal and designer, Neil Chin of Chin Edition, along with one of the best conceptual designers in the business, Abimelech Ariano of Abimelech Design. Wow! You're back for more? Always, brother. Welcome back. What's up, brother? How you doing? Back for more trouble? <sighs> I could not resist seeing that smiling face this once face? again. Always. So, first one I see in person. Saw cool. pictures. Looks like you already did some work. It was at Wesley Motorsports in Michigan, yep. and we were going to run on roadkill nights. We dropped the two inches. Okay. We pulled the twenties off, and we ran a set of eighteens that with a little nice. bigger sidewall. Yeah. You know, a little bit lighter wheel and tire combo. Just lowering it totally transforms the look and feel of this thing. Let's go bigger and better. Oscar just got here. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. So he's ready he, for you. Is he setting up computers and stuff? Setting up computers. Okay. Go in the shop. All right. Start the magic. All right. Good. All right. I'll see you inside. For almost 20 years, Unique Fabrication has been helping automotive, race, and off-road enthusiasts achieve their dreams. From custom metalwork and chassis development to CNC machining, suspension systems, and engine accessory fabrication, the team at Unique is one of the best we've ever come across. The same can be said for designer Neil Chin, and with over two decades of experience working on everything from custom trucks, cars, and even now, EVs, the combination of unique fabrications and Chin Edition makes for the start of a very great team. We kind of started the aggression process on this thing, yeah. right? But I need it to be more aggressive. Yeah. I really want to make something that people wouldn't expect a Hornet to, to look like. I think a custom color, something cool, something bright, something wild. I think we need a front splitter to make it look lower. We'll do some side skirts, and then we do metal flares. I think so we, you, want, you want to do metal? Yeah. We're going to go wider. I'm thinking a 20 by 10, so give us two inches on each side. Okay. The lowered stance that Kevin the boys did looks great. We'll get a performance tire, 275, 285, yeah. whatever we could fit under there. Um, I definitely think we need to do some work on the back end. And then I think for the rear, we talked about it. We're going to make a new rear valance. What do you think about the brakes, the interior, and the exhaust? Dodge already put a kick-ass brake kit on this car. They're brilliant. And you tested it. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want to touch the brakes. They're great okay. as is. We did side exhaust last year. Yeah, we're not doing that again. You think center's better? Center. We do actually have an exhaust from Direct Connection. We might have to modify it a little bit for the center exhaust exit, but I think that'll work just fine. Sound like we did last year, we'll make two cool tips. Yeah. Come out the back? Yeah. Okay, well, that's easy then. All right, let's talk to Oscar, see what he can come up with. I want to introduce Oscar Abimelech. Now, for those that don't know, Oscar has one of the greatest Instagram pages called Abimelech Design on Instagram, and he's a conceptual designer. Basically what he does is he makes every one of your automotive dreams come true. He's the guy that if we could dream it, he could design it, and then hopefully he can build it. That's the whole goal here. If that's gonna happen, I don't know. He's got a rendering of the Hornet up right now. We're gonna see if we can make it happen. Brother, how you doing? Doing fine, how about you? Good, man. Welcome, sir. Thank you. So we've got the Hornet yeah. up on screen right now as a 3D render. This is cool as hell. So. Walk me through this. Can you essentially get any body of any car and pretty much. If you cannot get it, you can you can do it. You can build it in 3D and, and this will help to make it then into a rendering with the colors and the modifications that you want. So every part is modifiable. Everything is modifiable. Now that, that the car is lower, yeah. I think we should look at the flares. Yeah. Because that's gonna be the A cherry on top. Yeah. We're gonna disappear the wheel so we can work. I like to follow the lines of yeah, the car. Yeah, of course. That's, that's how they look better. So I think we should grab what exists already. So you're just clicking on that one piece. Yeah. Okay. And, and then we go from there. We are going to use these two. Okay. And so everything's in symmetry. Yeah. How wide do you want it? Wide. Wide. Yeah, let's somewhat try, wide. Yeah, Oscar, let's write two inches wider on each side. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna do the axis of, of length, and then we're just gonna go a little wider. Get out of the way. Yeah. I wanna try it. I know back pain. You I can, can totally try it. You could do this. Okay. I think you could do this. Let me yeah, try it. Walk it. me through this. Okay. So, what do I do? 
You just How do click I click on the click on the red arrow. Okay. And then you're just gonna push it to the left. Okay. No, the other way. <laughs> he I'm doing it on left from his right. Shut <laughs> up. This is like no, this is like NASA stuff. Yeah. There you go. There you go. See, it's perfect. Let go of the click. With a with a scroll wheel, you can zoom out. Ooh. So if you oh, see it's you a little skewed, we yeah. get, we have to fix it. Right. Uh, press press R on the keyboard. That means stands for rotate. Okay. Ooh. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh no. That. <laughs> can you stand to flare? You need, you need these. <laughs> can you stand to flare? He just put it in the wheel well. Yeah, that. So I think I think that's that's okay. I think that's perfect. And now, what if I want to widen the flare so it comes out farther? Can I extend this? The red arrow. Yeah, the red arrow. You See? Can just pull it a little yeah. backwards. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna do S, which stands for scaling. It stands for stupid. Yeah. Oh, we just shrug it. X, oh, Jesus. Uh, press the X key on the keyboard. That's the X axis, which will oh. make it wider. Hey, I know you're having fun. We got a car to build. Shut up. You want to? I can see how addictive this is. So now, oh, if, yeah, if you yeah. want to take this, how do you rotate it? How do you actually okay, so rotate it? Okay, so you're gonna press the scroll wheel on the mouse. Okay. And then just move it. It does look a lot better. I can absolutely see how this is addictive. This is the more technical side of it. We still have to do the creative. Just throw a little color on it. It's just lower, give curves. us something yeah. bright. Here in this software, we have a whole library of materials and you can make your own. This is already separate in parts, just like in the other software. Right. And we can go and, and choose this part. Say we want it red. Uh, that's the flare that Mike did. This is right now a gloss. Yeah. We can then choose the type. We can do even like flake. Yes. So obviously we want to do something that pays homage. You know what I want out of this thing. Neil is Neil. He wants super high impact. So, you know, take some cues. Take some cues from the Dodge Turbos of the past. We'll let you get to it. We'll come back in a little while and see what you have. And then we'll just evolve this thing. But I'm excited. Okay. All right, brother. We'll see you in a little bit. See something. Yeah. How's okay. that? Okay. <laughs> okay, we're getting there. I think we're, 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 we're moving there, along yeah. here. I love the flares. I love the, the enhanced front spoiler. I'm not digging the plum crazy. Can we try yellow? There's yellow? A bit more red. See? Well, look at the flare lines. I like it. Oh, dude, that's not bad. And then the black accents. And it, and it goes with the Hornet theme. I'm not a yellow guy, but that's not bad. So I have a little something extra. As we said, we try to get a little from the history of the brand, yeah. right? Yeah. So it's getting a couple of graphics. Nice. Let me show them. You just made Mike happy. It ties it all together. Yes, yes, yeah. Okay. Does that say intercooled on the back? This there is really, really cool. Go to the back one more time. The bumper right now just looks thick. It looks a little yeah, blue, it looks but I need much. some color to break that up. Don't you agree? Yep, like yeah, just a I little agree. more color. I, I like the center exhaust. The size of the wheels, that looks like a 20 by, if yeah. I imagine 20 by 10 or something like yeah. that. I want to look for something that's a little more, has something a little more of a dish and something that's a little more Almost more sporty aggressive. too. Yeah, yeah. Aggressive, sporty. We're thinking maybe a two piece. Lightweight, it's gotta be lightweight, it's gotta be wider. The tires are gonna play a factor, so keep that in mind. But dude, this looks, this, this looks good. awesome. This is good, I like the red accent on the Hornet too. So now I have a question, can you build this? Now that we can see it, we can share it with our team. It's gonna be metal work, awesome. it's gonna be wrapped. We'll have to work with our partners to make sure we get the right color. Yeah. I oh, think I the like last this. thing for us is figure out wheel and tire package, and then we just gotta get to work. That's fine, I got a guy for wheels and tires. With the initial renderings complete and a plan that was, well, somewhat in place, it was time for us to get on the phone, make some calls, and expand our team even further. Yeah, did you get the renderings I sent you? Where are you at? I just got the renderings. Dude, all metal wide body. I need a wheel for this thing. I mean, that's the one part of the rendering that I can't, I can't get. Yeah, no, I, I want it to be aggressive. I want it to like really accentuate the bulldogness of this, of this Hornet. Yeah. No, so yeah, something like a 20 by 10 would be absolutely perfect. We'll build the flares around that. What do you mean, when do I need you here? Dude, we needed you here yesterday. Totally. Good. So I'll see you tomorrow morning. All right, I'll see you soon. Later. <laughs>